guys and welcome back to the Choir Room Bar, your source for drinks, games, and debauchery with America's favorite show choir. So this week's episode of Glee is super, super special because it was written by none other than Kurt Hummel himself, Mr. Chris Colfer, in his television writing debut, which we are very excited to see in the episode entitled Old Dog New Trick. So what we have in store is Kurt ending up being in a senior citizen's home production of Peter Pan after their Peter Pan away and we have Rachel starting to reinvent herself with the help of Santana starting a new charity for Broadway and dogs called Broadway Bitches. So for this week's drink I decided we would take an old drink and give it a new trick. Hence the name of this week's drink, Old Dog New Trick. All you need is some Diet Coke, some rum, where's my lime and ice? R2? Did you take my ice and lime? Well, I know you're mad that you're not one of the guest stars in this week's episode. I get that Chris dressed up as you for Halloween, but that doesn't mean you can steal part of this week's drink. Archie, where did you put the lime in the ice? Look, just because Lando's in this week's episode doesn't mean you have to be bitter that you're not in it. I know Chewbacca was in an episode. I I know, Archie. Just give me the lime in the ice. Fine. R2 decided to steal our ice and lime because he's bitter that this week's episode has so many special guest stars like Tim Conway, Lando Coverskin himself, Billy Dee Williams, and the Oscar-nominated June Squibb. So, into your glass of ice. We have a lime in here. So into your glass, I'm gonna take this ice from R2. Droids these days. Thank you for helping. I'll go back to the other side. So into our glass of ice, I am going to pour some rum, and I'm actually going with a gold rum versus a regular rum. I'm going to pour entire nick into that. Then I'm going to take my lime that R2, so thankfully he is back. I'm going to squeeze one quarter of the lime right into the glass, and then I'm going to use the same quarter to actually rim the glass with a little bit of lime juice. Then I'm going to top off the drink with some Diet Coke. And then just garnish your glass with a lime wedge as well. And there you guys have it, a old dog new trick. Cheers. So with every episode of Choir Room Bar, we have three drinking game rules, and just because it's Chris's episode doesn't mean there's anything different. Your first drinking game rule is to take a sip every time there's a quip made about someone's age, whether it be someone being too young, or someone being too old, or someone being young at heart. Your second drinking game rule is to take a sip every time that there is a mention of a type of dog. And your third drinking game rule is to take a sip every time you hear something said that just makes you think, yep, Chris wrote this episode. Now, thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It is over there. And if you look below, there will be links to last week's Choir Room Bar and some other videos of mine. Don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up. And I will see you guys next week for the season finale of Glee. Bye. Say bye-bye, R2. Bye, guys.